we all recall a time in a bus where Kelly Dodd said that I had hair on my chin, so I am getting my face shaved right now. Let's have a moment of silence for the dead cat on Shannon's face. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's Shannon Bedore of the Real Housewives of Orange County getting her face shaved to please one of the other housewives. <laughs> she is an all-star for me. I honestly, I watch every franchise, but you are like top five. I, I love you so much. What were you, what were you, sha what were you shaving your face for? Well, no, I was told that, you know, as we get older, you, when you have a little bit of facial hair, then you're not absorbing all of the moisturizers and all the things that you're putting on your face. So now I get it done once a month. Wait, okay, so I just did it recently. Scott and I were getting facials together. Mm -hmm. is, am I gonna get a beard? I'm nervous about no. this because- No, Oh yeah, does, does the hair grow back no, thicker? It does, no, it doesn't, and it doesn't grow back dark or anything like that. Well, no. that's good. And, and I do know, and I do notice that my skin is, is looking a little better. But it's better. been months, so I need to go back. Yeah, oh, Lord. and you can, yeah, it, some people do it you know, every couple weeks. Well, I have to say, men, <laughs> men were on this trend before anyone else. I've been shaving my face. <laughs> This is nothing Welcome new. To our We've time been in the beauty now. business forever. <laughs> um, Shannon, I have to say, I know it's been a priority for you over the last few years through your divorce from uh, David and everything that you've really wanted to lose weight. That's been important for you. Yes. And you lost 40 pounds coming into this new season. I did. I did. How, and, but you've been working on it for a while. How do you think it all snapped into place for you? Well, you know, I did kind of always go through that roller coaster. You know, I'd lose 20 and then I gain it back and I finally woke up one day and I said, look, you gotta make the commitment and, and do it all the way. And I think, I, I think I said this on the show too, you know, once I felt good about myself inside, the weight kind of came off a lot easier. And so do you think that going f with the divorce being final and everything like that, is that when you started feeling a little bit better? Yes, but I also realized that I, I'm okay on my own. You know, when you're, I think I was 53 when I first separated and, you know, starting out on my own, I need, wanted to start a new business. It's doing well. So, you know, once I realized I can stand on my own two feet, you know, I had that confidence back. I think it gives a lot of other women out there confidence to see they can do it. Do you think your life would have gone the same way if you hadn't signed up for this show? You know, um, no. I mean, definitely it wouldn't. But I think my marriage would have ended earlier, to be oh. honest with you, had I not been on the show. I mean, there was, you know, just because I was out there in the public eye, I, I wanted to fight for my family because I do have strong family values. And so I think I fought a little bit longer than I would have. And I think as a viewer, no one had really seen that before in that way on television. Everything you do is, I'm, I'm such a fan right now. <laughs> but no, everything, <laughs> I'm just like, everything you do is gold, you're perfect. No, um, but every everything that you put out there, you, you put out there, it doesn't seem, do you hold much back when the cameras are Because you really, I think, are one of the most authentic or so it seems. Well, thank you. You know, it's, it's, this is my sixth year on the show and I kind of thought through it. Every year I think it's got to be a good year because of what I went through last year and then something else happened. So this year I think it is a good fun year because I have put so much up. Like an affair, the wake, and the divorce, like enough. No, you're having a hot girl summer. Fun! fun. You are having a hot girl Wait, summer. Wait, look at this. Yeah. yeah, but don't put that on now because guess what? Can we, you brought a friend with you today. You did. Uh-huh. Her boyfriend <laughs> yeah. is here. And by the way, is he hiding? Oh, there he's he is. There so he is. handsome. I see you. He's so <laughs> handsome. He Look is. at that. Very handsome. And um, I'm wondering if it's at all uncomfortable for him watching the show, Shannon, because you are a kissing bandit on this show. Okay, we well, see you dating on this show. We see you kissing. Right, but I, I'm. It's very vanilla. It's shoes yes. on. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm. I'm old fashioned. That being said, I did date, and we have discussed it. I mean, I, it happened before I knew him, and you know, it wasn't. I hadn't met anybody that I cared about. It made it very clear to each person. I am not interested in a relationship. So, now what's you are. different Good about him? Let's make him blush back there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, honestly, I have to say he's the kindest person that I think I've ever met. He's thoughtful. He's a great father. He has great family values. We share the same faith. He's very patient with me because I can be a bit much sometimes. And I just, I, I feel such a comfort and connection with him that I haven't felt before. Oh, that's really nice. Would you get married again? I'd love to get married again. I, I want to have that partnership uh, and be part of a team that I lacked in my marriage. Well, before, guess so what? what? <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, surprise. Shannon, thank you so much. Again, you are such an all-star for me. I love you, you so much. The Real Housewives of Orange County is airing Tuesdays at 9 on Bravo. Can someone get Brian some water? Honestly, or something? Like if you love that video, you're going to love everything on the Access YouTube channel. So hit the subscribe button. You can thank me later. Hit it.
now. Thanks. <laughs>